starting and operating the machine. Open the fuel shutoff valve. If starting the engine cold, close the choke. If restarting the engine warm, leave it open. Pull back the throttle about one-third and turn the ignition key to the start position until it starts. If the engine doesn't start after 10 seconds, release the key, wait 10 seconds, and try again. Once it's started, release the key and move the choke control to half. Wait for 30 to 60 seconds before fully opening the choke. For starting in cold weather conditions or if you have to jump start your engine, consult your owner's manual. Once started, navigate to the trenching location at a safe speed. Direct and move the machine with the track control levers. Pushing the left or right track control lever forward causes that track to go forward, and pulling the levers back causes the tracks to go in reverse. Moving the track control lever of a particular track further from neutral increases the speed in that direction. Steer the trencher by moving one track control lever farther forward or backwards than the other. This will cause each track to move at a different speed, turning the trencher. Always drive at a speed appropriate for your environment. When driving, avoid inclines, drop-offs, and embankments. Never drive next to a current trench as it could collapse the bank, rolling the machine. A 20-degree incline is allowed, but if the machine is driven on a slope greater than 20 degrees, it will shut down automatically. Position the trencher to start the trench. Remember, the trencher is designed to dig while driving in reverse. Once the trencher is positioned, do a quick function check before you start. If you release the trench or track control levers, their respective functions should always stop right away. After you finish your function check, turn up the throttle to maximum. Engage the trench lever. Push the boom control up, lowering the digging chain. If the trencher bounces a little when lowering the boom, try lowering it slower. You can move the trencher backwards a bit while lowering the boom to reduce the bounce as well. Always adjust the boom lowering speed for soil conditions as necessary. Never overload the engine. If the engine lugs down or the digging chain slows down, raise the boom until speed increases. Then, continue lowering the boom slowly. Never attempt to force the boom down faster than the digging chain can remove material. When ready, pull the track control levers backwards to trench. After the job. After trenching is complete, move the trencher to level ground and park. Never park on a slope. Lower the boom onto the ground and engage the parking brake. Turn down the throttle to idle and turn off the ignition switch. Remove the key and turn off the fuel shutoff valve. Failure to turn off the fuel shutoff valve can seriously damage your engine. Let the machine cool entirely before performing maintenance, cleaning, or touching the engine, hydraulic lines, or hydraulic fluid. Once cool, spray down the trencher. After it's clean, operate the trencher briefly to remove the water from the parts. Once you return to the shop, complete all required cleaning, lubrication, battery, and general maintenance. For specifics on these tasks, consult your owner's manual. For more information, visit www.barettomfg.com or consult your owner's manual.